Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently a picture has surfaced on internet showing L band radar deployment in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh as a part of India's ballistic missile shield phase 1. This missile shield is aimed to completely cover the western sky which means any ballistic missile launched by Pakistan will be detected and neutralized rendering them completely useless. If you have to build a ballistic missile shield, you need a very long range radar that can detect targets from thousands of kilometers. Initially, India has imported such radars from Israel and then further upgraded it as per its own requirement and now it has developed its own long range tracking radar also called LRTR which we will be discussing in detail in today's video. But before we discuss on LRTR, let's also understand basics of BMD. BMD or Ballistic Missile Defense is India's two-tier ballistic missile defense system developed by DRDO. The first layer can intercept a missile in an exo-atmospheric attitude of 50 to 180 km. This layer consists of Prithvi Air Defense Pad and Prithvi Defense Vehicle PDB interceptors designed for mid-course interception of ballistic missile. The second layer can destroy an incoming missile in the Indo-atmospheric attitude of 15 to 40 km. It consists of a single stage solid rocket propelled advanced air defense AAD interceptor missile. AAD is designed to intercept missiles at the terminal phase. The BMD system in its present configuration is designed to counter missiles with range up to 2000 km and a speed between Mach 3 to Mach 8. The key to detection of incoming missile at long ranges is, of course, the long range or beyond horizon radars with range in excess of 1000 km. These types of radars operate in L band. To begin with, India has imported two phased array green pine radars in 2002 and 2005 from Israel that was used in Israel's Arrow missile defense system. Green Pine operates in search, detection, tracking and missile guidance modes simultaneously and capable of detecting targets at a range of up to 500 km and can track more than 30 targets at a speed over 8.74 Mach. The Green Pine radar has a proven track record and has demonstrated in over 20 successful ballistic missile intercepts. We have also made a detailed video on these radars too. Learning from Israeli technology. DRDU has also developed Swordfish Long Range Tracking Radar LRTR capable of tracking missile launches at 600 to 800 km range. Although it is based on Israeli Green Pine, it differs from Israeli system as it employs Indian TR modules, signal processing, computers and power supplies. It is also more powerful than base Green Pine system and was developed to meet the India's specific BMD requirements. DRDO has not stopped till the development of Swordfish, but they went ahead with Super Swordfish or a very long range tracking radar. DRDO's Super Swordfish has been developed to track and intercept MIRV capable missiles. ISRO is already using an L band AES radar called Multi Object Tracking Radar MOTR, which is based on the same technology with fixed horizontal and vertical angle rotating at 360 degree. It is capable of tracking 0.25 meters square object at 1000 kilometers and 0.09 meters square object at 800 kilometers of lower earth orbit view. The Super Swordfish has a range of approximately 1500 kilometers. It was raised in 2017 for Indian Ballistic Missile Defense Program and is now operational. Two units of Super Swordfish was accorded by Government of India in 2017. Now as per the latest updates, the Phase 1 of Indian Air Force Ballistic Missile Defense Network is now under construction. Indian Air Force is building four L-band long-range tracking radar LRTR sites near Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh, near Jaipur, Rajasthan and yet to be identified site in Uttarakhand, all of which will be deployed along India's Western Air Defense Identification Zone. Construction activities are slated for completion by mid of 2023. The first phase of BMD system will be providing ballistic missile defense 
covered to NCR and Mumbai besides keep tracking and providing situational awareness of all ballistic missiles. As per the latest update, the L-band LRTR radar deployment is complete at Bhopal site and almost near completion in Udaipur, Rajasthan. Under phase 2, three additional LRTR sites will be built with construction already commencing earlier last year to cater for northern and northeastern portion of Indian Air Force Air Defense Identification Zone. Last year, work has also commenced on construction of 12 L-band high-power radar sites, 8 facing LSE and 4 for LOC. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.